Breaking the Wall of Limited Cancer Treatment Alicia Badal Falling Walls Lab, Johannesburg Did you know every 29 seconds someone around the world is diagnosed with breast cancer? This makes breast cancer the most commonly diagnosed cancer globally. Triple negative breast cancer is the most difficult type of breast cancer to treat. This is because it is associated with higher proliferation rates, easy ability to spread, and higher reoccurrence rates compared to any other type of breast cancer. Recovery from triple negative breast cancer is blocked by a wall of limited treatment options, and available drugs are associated with adverse side effects and high drug resistance. We have devised a novel three-step method to break down this wall. Firstly, we switch on a gene called GAS5. GAS5 is naturally produced in the human body, and when a cell is damaged or defective, GAS5 forces that cell to commit suicide. However, in cancer cells, this gene is switched off or produced in very small quantities, and this allows cancer cells to grow and grow without undergoing death. Moreover, research has shown that when GAS5 is downregulated, this allows cancer cells to put up a wall of drug resistance. Using advanced, cutting-edge gene technology, we are able to increase the expression of GAS5 in triple-negative breast cancer for the first time. This is done using CRISPR-Cas9 technology. This is done to switch on the cell death pathway and weaken the wall of drug resistance. Next, we expose these edited cells to two types of anti-cancer drugs. Firstly, UJ3. UJ3 is a metal-based drug that has been developed in our lab, and during in vitro breast cancer studies, UJ3 was able to trigger cell death far more effectively compared to a commercially available chemotherapeutic drug. Moreover, UJ3 triggered cell death at a concentration 10 times lower compared to that of the chemotherapeutic drug without producing any adverse side effects. Lastly, we expose these edited cells to a second class of drugs called PARB inhibitors. PARB inhibitors are FDA-approved frontline treatment to triple-negative breast cancer. They work by selectively targeting cancer cells from repairing their damaged DNA without harming the healthy cells, producing minimal side effects. However, it is possible that over time, cancer cells could gain resistance to PARB inhibitors. So a second component of our research is to determine whether the increase in GAS5 expression could de decrease drug resistance to potent anti-cancer drugs and instead increase drug efficacy. Once we have completed our three-step <coughs> method, we would be able to increase the number of accessible drugs used to treat triple-negative breast cancer, breaking the wall of limited cancer treatment. Thank you.